What is this hair? <laughs> Yo! Put my feet up. Keep my feet up. While I read books. I was reading. And I just had the thought. Because I'm so smart. That I want to talk about my story <laughs> of a girl. who apparently had a crush on me. And I reacted in the most low self-esteem, low testosterone, weak beta male ever. So what should I name this video? <laughs> My most embarrassing story yet. <laughs> I gained nothing from this video. <laughs> I, I just make myself look bad. <laughs> okay. So I had a dream yesterday. Um, I had gone into the past, but with the knowledge that I knew now, and with the intense desire to change, the Im immense frustration that I had for myself. Oh my god. Are you serious right now, bro? I forgot to play guitar. Nice. So, with the immense, immense amount of fucking frustration I had from year seven to year eight, year nine. I had radically changed myself, radically. I was still the same individual, but I looked immensely different, and my pockets were immensely different because I was balling, less fucking, oh. I was fucking rich, all right? So this is my dream. Anyway, this girl comes along. I'm gonna call her ER. ER, like an alien. Um, what was name? What was name ER? Anyway, she was really cute, and apparently, she had a crush on me. And at the time, in the actual real events, I was like, uh? Like, this girl has a crush on me? I could not possibly fathom the fact that she had a crush on me, considering how I looked, considering my, my self esteem, considering my mental health was at an all time low. And I said, uh? And I sat right next to her in English class. And I just gave her this weird look like, you really? You really like me? Me? At this time, I wasn't the, indiv the sexy individual I was now. <laughs> Anyways, I don't look half as good as I did now. I look like a mess right now because I haven't showered and I'm actually injured from boxing, which is very unfortunate. I, I'm, I'm considering going boxing, but I'm also considering... I'm, I'm in two minds. I do want to go, but I don't want to go because my, my wrist is injured and it's like semi-healed. And if I go, I'm just going to end up hurting myself and I won't be able to spar Thursday. So I'm in two minds with this. So I think I should just go on Thursday and spar. And I feel really wrong. Like intrinsically wrong. Because I've seen myself as an athlete for... How do I say this? For about more than six months now. I've seen myself as an athlete. Genuinely. Like a person who does sports. Who loves exercise. My hair. I look like some... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I've, also, I've seen myself as an athlete for six months now. But I have been exercising for a year plus. And you can see it in my video, uh, my strength gains, my image gains. Do I edit this video? Maybe. I'll edit this video. I, no, 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 no. I'll edit this video just for... Just for you guys. Fuck, man, that hurt. Anyways, I was... In the real world, I was like, I was fat. I had long hair. I looked like um, some fucking ugly femboy. And I was like, very chubby. I... Perhaps have an old image of myself. I look bad, guys. You might think I look uh, like average, mediocre now. No, 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 guys, I look fucking ugly. I look absolutely hideous. <laughs> Which is why I believe I had the qualifications to, to shit on guys that do look hideous. Because they have so much potential to not look hideous. You understand know I me? Mean? You understand know I me? Mean? Like, a fat Asian. Like, I always shit on fat Asians. And this is not to be, like, insulting. But this is to be awakening, like... Bro, you could be the sexy K-pop looking motherfucker, but you instead chose to be the Kim Jong-un looking motherfucker. So, what's going on? It all proceeds to your choices. Anyways, in this dream of mine, I had way the real, I had played, replayed the real version. Like, eh? Looking at her weird. Like, ignoring her a bit, because, like, I didn't fucking believe it. Um, but she was really cute, by the way. She was fucking cute. She was ginger. I love gingers, man. At the time, I really liked gingers as well, and I liked tomboys. And she was a bit of like a tomboy ginger, I don't know, something like that. I. I saw my ass! I saw him! 
I look back and I have intense feelings of, how do I say this, hatred, hatred on my past self because of the choices that I chose, I took the thing, the life that I led, the things I did in my life that preceded me, and ah, oh, dude, dude, in my dream, I was like the W Rizzler, man, I was the Rizzard of Oz, I was a Rizzic Tan, man, Jesus Christ, in, the, in, my, in my dream, yeah, she liked me, and I'm like, I know. Because <laughs> the person who told me that she liked me wasn't like her or her friends. No, it was her. Fr was it her friend? It was her friend, and it was another dude. And I was like, eh? Shut up, man. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> and then in the dream, I was like, I was smooth as fuck, and I was like handsome. I was like a really handsome motherfucker. And I was a bit tall. I was actually a bit taller, if I remember correctly, because I exercise regularly. Because if you exercise at a young age, you get to become taller. Yada 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 yada. And what was it again? <laughs> no, I have to go boxing. I, I can't. I don't feel right in my heart. I have to go. I have to go. I don't care. I'm gonna get some money. Oh, I feel wrong if I don't train. Like this is. The, I have like, an intense feeling in my heart. I feel genuinely wrong if I don't exercise. It, that's not weird. It's it's because of my is I'm, I'm saying uh, I was gonna say that's not weird, is it? But it isn't weird because it's tied into my identity. Anyways, after this video is ended, it's gonna end soon. Sorry, guy. I'll end the story quick. I end the, I'll end it with a final message and then I'll go to training boxing. Let me tell you guys. <laughs> I was like, I know, and I sat next to her in class. I was like, and I was like, I looked at her, and she looked at me. And I looked at her. <gasps> oh god damn, cringy as fuck. I looked at her, she looked at me. ER, alright? I'm like, yo ER. And she's like, yeah? I know you like me. <laughs> ah! Oh! Cringy as fuck. And she was like, what? I was like, I know you like me. What are you doing after this? I was like, what the f and, then I, and then I took a moment. And I just paused the situation. I was like, this guy is fucking aggressive as shit. And the thing is, yeah. If I was ugly, that would be seen as sexual harassment. <laughs> but, it, but if you're handsome, that's seen as like, like a, a W is right? Damn, my nose blocked. <sighs> <sighs> Where's my... Where the fuck is my... Ugh... Blocked our nose... <sighs> I don't know, I didn't see it. Anyways... After that, I think we've got. I don't remember the exact dream because the dream faded away. I wanted to get some like fucking um, the you know, the oils that clear your nose. You rub it on your nose and it clears the thing. Eucalyptus oil. Uh, can't find it though. L, L finding skills. Is it? Oh, hello, Paul. You woke up. How'd you wake up, buddy? Time's up for some of the Ah! Boom! Chinese health medicine. Fire. I'm getting myself awake for the training session coming up ahead. I don't have a ride for not train. Okay. Anyways, we got, we got on really well after that. She like her personality was like kind of nervous a bit, stuttering, and I was like, "You don't need to be worried." Like some fucking, some fucking, <laughs> you some like how do I say this? Some dominant alpha male chat type character, which is very very at the time uncharacteristic for me, especially at that time time period. But looking back, it's how I actually am now. It's very weird.
like an almost stoic, uncaring. Keep yourself at a cool distance and then let her like you more. Let her chase you type of character. And I've never felt like that before. And I woke up and I was like, oh, oh, get back in. No, no, no. I was just, I was getting, getting on my day. It's very weird though. It's, um, the, the, the dream reminded me that my choices preceded me. My choices genuinely affected where I, I would be in life. Had I chose early to choose the path of discipline, the path of honor, the path of stoicism, the path of hard work, while still in school, while still young as fuck, I would be taller, I'd be stronger, more handsome, I would reap all the benefits with no with no uh, thing negatives. That's the uh, that's the benefit of hard work, the right thing. And my my self confidence was skyrocketing. I could see on her face, ER gobsmacked. And, you know, people. Some, sometimes people say that your dreams are like an alternate reality that you could have lived. And of course, to me, it's interesting to think about. Considering that it could be based on some truth. Could be. You never know. But, um... Yeah, it was interesting to see how my... No, I was going to repeat myself, but... How what I chose led to the path of greatness... The path of greatness was getting, getting the girl I liked. The path of greatness was getting a bunch of money, getting into the shape I liked, getting taller, getting stronger. It's very, very interesting to me. Well, I can't even go to the boxing gym because I don't have a zip card. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, well, I'll train, I have to train at home. That's fucking annoying. Listen, guys. That's my most embarrassing, one of my most embarrassing stories yet. And you could see on my face the entire time, I was cringing, I was whinging. I was cringing, I was whinging, I was jumping over the place like a madman. But this is, this should be, and this is quite interesting and informative. And this should be, not necessarily motivational, but a, how do I say this, a valuable learning encounter for you. Your choices genuinely affect where you are in life, and of course it's like, oh no, obviously, Mr. Captain Obvious, no way Captain, no way uh, Jose, or some shit like that, or something like that, right, it's, it's so obvious, but it's so true, and it's so often looked down upon in this world, I don't think enough people get told it, I don't think I got told it enough, that my choices would genuinely affect where I would be in life, for example, I could choose to train, exercise, a hardcore workout, where my muscles are sore, and I'm really tired, and I don't have to do it because you know you don't you need to work out, right? I could I could choose that life of hard work, the path of hard work, the hard work ethic, or I could just choose to hop on back in the video games, and hop on back in the Discord voice chat, and hop on back with the boys, the boys, they're not your boys. You're just there for the game. You don't fucking like him for them. If you do, like I did, then it, the, the relationship becomes strained if you have something like that in common. Honestly. You go hop over with the boys. Like, I remember half, more than half, not even half, 99% of the people I played with on PS4, I don't talk to anymore. The guys that I dropped recently, or I dissed myself, this album recently, so because I, I don't want to play video games to be a loser anymore, I don't talk to them anymore. But not nearly as much. Sometimes I, I, back, I go on the, uh, the chat, sometimes. But I recently I've been leaving them on scene, it's not worth my time. It's not, not, nothing offensive, it's just genuinely not worth my time. And no one really told me growing up that my choices would genuinely precede me. Precede me. Not proceed, proceed, proceed. Because of the choice that I made in year 7, leading to year 9, year 10, year 11, I'd be like five, four, 4 or 5 years into training, I'd have a, in me phenomenal shape, I'd be much taller, I'd be much more confident, I'd be a completely different individual, I'd be much more handsome, I would have much more self-confidence, I would have deeper pockets, I'd be making money. And I would live a life actually genuinely worth living. Because of my choices. Because of my frustration. This is why frustration is so fucking important. God! Your choices dictate where your life go. It's not as simple as that. I'll think about this. I'll make another video. Goodbye, guys! Sui!